Welcome back, comrades. Today I have a Fallout 4 build tutorial slash video. It was for the comments if you want to see how I built my secret bunker, my Soviet one. So I'm going to show you where it is on the map. It is right here next to Flint Charm. So if you just cross the water, it's next to this unmarked location. So I just came in here and Sign the weapon doesn't need to be torn and shot. I came in here and this is the secondary location you'll find. So I just went in here. Oh by the way, this is on PC. So you will so I'm not sure if you'll be able to do all this on Xbox because it's using console commands. Hey! So my tell you to stay strong. No problem. Just get rid of all this gas. And apparently none of my bullets set off fire. Um, there we go. I'll advise getting rid of that so it doesn't get in your way later on. But right, to get through this door so it's inexhaustible, you'd have to back on trying to solve this puzzle wise. Right here, if I just do something different, I just go unlock and open the door. Then Perfect. take the gun before you start anything. As you notice, this room is just basically this is where my bullet door was. Nothing really here. So what I do is go to my cheap terminal. I am to equipment or crafting. Then I get ton of points needed. Then I go to activate campsite. So this is conquest mod I'm using. So I can build it here. And it doesn't look like this wants to work today. Would be ironic. I'm trying to record. I have some more work. I right, screw it. Just stay there. Place there. Yes. And I hope for my great game to not just crash there. Or could it just be taking a while to load up. Do -do, do -do, do -do, do -do. Nope, didn't crash, just taking a very long time to load up. Why well, it's quite unusual, may I say. So I'm just going to dump this up right here. And to take a couple of minutes to go for a loan screen. Click that one, yes. I might go activate thingy down. I'm just going to transfer all the build materials in. I would advise using cheat terminal if you're going to be doing big builds, because you can just easily get a ton of resources without worrying. Without worrying, running out and trying to scam and stuff, but if you want to keep it law friendly, you can scam all the stuff. Right, what I'm going to do here is save it, and then I'm about to go, I'm just going to go into build mode. But this is where I'm going to have to put a warning on, guys, before I continue this build at all. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to turn off if you saw from epilepsy or any other fits of bright lights or moving lights. Suave I'll do will come. Well, is quite bright and has some flash lights, depends which way I move and how fast I move from this game. So, if you saw from any of them, I would like to turn the way right now. I'm sorry about that, but that was the easiest way I can explain it. Well, just going that way. Basically, I'm about to go to the void. If now you know what void is, I'm just going to scrap all this. Store. Right, I think I know where the easiest place to do it is this wall here. So, what I need to do is put this with this machinery in my way. Sometimes you may have to use disable to get rid of some of this big, bulky machinery. So, I'll take a million parts to this. I'll do my own. Uh, it doesn't look like anything wants to work for me today. Sounds about right. Oh, come on. Yeah, but I have to put like a million little nuts and bolts in this. Everything seems to take twice as long to get rid of. Right, now I'm going to open console commands. I am using my Xbox controller, but I do have my keyboard, so open console commands then. I may click on this object here and click 
disable, type in disable, and that'll probably remove the lights, but oh well. There we go. This that's definitely the object I want. So it just gives me some more space to work in. Just because it will be a very tight space while we work in, so I'll get rid of the wall. I didn't actually scrap this in my build because I didn't need to, it's just left there, but you can scrap this with all using console commands and scrap everything, but some things aren't apparently scrappable with scrap everything. Working enough the console commands, you can't scrap everything. I shouldn't really be using a very dark setting, so I will have to use my torch a lot. Let's get rid of that. Disable. Disable. Right. That should give me enough space to work with now. Right, so this is the wall here. So I'll just stay here because this goes horribly wrong, guys. Right, so I'll give you plenty of time if you saw from anything, turn away now. Now, right, so what I'm about to show you is how I did it, right, so I clicked on this wall here, hopefully it still works, I'm going to type in disable, and you'll see, there you go, the wall has opened up. As you can see, it's a very intense bright light, this is how I went to the void, and it does hurt your eyes, that's why I'm wearing gaming glasses, if you don't know what they are, it's basically glasses what help you filter out the UV light and the rest of what's coming off your PC. So yeah, guys, I've just got a message on Discord. Love video. There we go. Apply to that. Right, so I am now in the void, as you can see. The world's most brightest, intensest light in the game. As you can see why, it might cause some epilepsy. So what I tend to do is build like a little wall in the front. My build shop loads back up. Oh, I love my build menu, it's so slow on this save. On my other save, it works super fast. As you can see, I do get a build wall all the way out there. But, so I don't get blinded. I'm going to find my structures. I went to concrete. I've got stairs, so now this is where the fun starts. So you have to try and line it up just right. So I'm not going to use that just yet, actually. I used, what was it? Scroll for all this. Snap me builds. I went to foundations, which I think where I was then. Uh, right, you see how it's starting to go through the floor? That's how I just need it, so I'm gonna try and line this up just perfectly like that. I can get it straight. Most of my builds start very crooked. Oh, oh why I that's while I crook it. Right. Still crooked. When you do try to work in this space, everything will look crooked. Because this room is not the straightest room. Thank you, Professor, for doing that. How does that oh. So last time I'm trying to let me line this up. Slip on that. I'm trying to line this one up correctly last time. There we go. Smash it. Right, so that's going to give me a bit of space to work with. And then I need to find some walls. What can I try and snap to it? So I normally go for the stained. I don't want painted concrete stained because it blends in with the room. Right, so if you're using a hidden wall, 
door mod or anything like that, you can use that by to use big bolt door. So, right, my vault doors are under. Is it back this way? Because I have so many build menus in here. Yes, yeah, so these workshop devices. And it is under doors. Is it under miscellaneous or something? Nope, that's the idea. Car reader, why is it room here? Uh, big bulkhead door, no bolt. This is the security door here. Right, so yeah, it's in place that looks very nice and covered up. Actually, no, it does look very nice, but it's still not straight. There we go. Alright, it's buried into the metal and that. So that's our entrance. So then, what I will do next is go back to concrete. Under structures. The end. And this is where the fun starts because now I have to try and clip it all together. Right then. Oh, come on. You can do it. There you go. Then the fun bit happens because then you have that bare wall what comes through, but I can't really delete that wall because I'll delete this whole section of the wall here. What I do not want to do, but I can easily work around that. Then what I tend to do is just put a basic ceiling or a top, so I'm just going to this door for that to stand back. Right, so that's like. Oh, that was probably wrong actually. Now we're back across. I um then delete this I did. Then I went to scroll all the way along from my long built menu to SOE, then I used BOS and Yanksy. I went to prefabs hallway because it snaps in. Oh got that it's black. Come on, you normally snap in. No you don't want to play today. Sounds about right. I'll do it that way and delete that one. I just still don't snap it. Uh, this is one thing I've found a problem with numerous times on this game. It does not like to snap sometimes. It can be a tad annoying. So you just gotta keep jigging it until it gets to the right spot where you want it. Yep, yeah, Bob. Piers being. You can't sink this through the floor, but just just not that wants to do it for me. Right, that's it. Then what I did was built a longish corridor, but I'm gonna turn mine this way. Uh, right. Whoa! And that can't happen sometimes. You can't jump through the ceiling. There we go. Because you're not meant to build in this space here. Now what I do is go for when I can find all the prefab bits, there's none of that bit under this. To create the big room I did was snap that down there. If you just get this flat ceiling bit you want to. I create mine like so many why don't come in. Ding 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 ding. Right. 
That's my door. I also have to take one, two, four wide. I might do the same this way. But you can build it however big you want. I do apologize about all the blinding lights. I may try and turn that turn that down for the hand as I do. Editing. It's a bit bright on your eyes, I can say that people. This was a lot of fun I can say trying to build in here when I was actually born mine. It took me about three days to build my whole bunker. That's because I just um, hammered it basically to get, off, get over and done with. So I was like, whoa, this is bright light. Then you can just put another door here if you want to. I'll just put a door on that side. I think so. I'm only going to build a small bunk and I remove these doors because I don't really want to build a long one. Uh, so that's basically a small bunker. Then if you are cheating put better lighting in without a power generator, you can use these um, lights that come with it. These do tend to snap to the ceiling sometimes. You just got to find the right spot. But the door was not usually placed. There you go. One snap. There you go. I know that. They don't always snap in the same spot. There you go. Think. 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 This one's quite a bright room now. I'll just do the same throughout the whole door. Then what I'll do is just put the door back. So as you come in here, if you leave this in here, it'll look like a normal hidden vault. But you can use different doors to open this up with the power. Then you can just put all of them like that. But if you do want to power this door and hide all wires, what you can do is... Oh, let's find a Jenny. So what I did was get my... Not windmill. Small generator. See that clicks like that. My door was back. Then I got my switch. That's not working. I just want to connect that. There we go. So if I just connect this one first to that, and fine. Right, so I'll have to connect it to that now, so I've glitched through all them what I can do with this, because I've got this anywhere, is I can just take this and hide it through this wall here. It's outside, but you'll do a better job at wiring than I did. Then, but now you've got the problem. I've only found one problem with this door is you can only have one switch to open and close it. I did put the house on, so that's my fault. Right, so. I'll open. Why do you have to measure to make it look a bit better? measure how far your door opens. As you see it's glitching through a little so I'll move that back a tad. You can decorate this anywhere you want and this can be really any size. You've just got to pay attention to the build area marker around, the bright light and intensity. You don't want to spend too long here because you will get blind and sometimes you will move a lot faster. People can walk through this area I found. I had a few settlers in here but I did just like a uh, play ragdolls in here sometimes they just went flat across the room and I was like hmm how interesting so that's my basic build video but I will show you what this room looks like when it's all completely scrapped this space is great when it's completely scrapped so you can just go disable 
See what I mean? Like a million little parts. So I like this place. This is gonna be like one of my main places I will start building from. I know it's about to say the wrong guy. So I think it's scrappable here. It just takes a bit of time to scrap everything. So let's just click on that now. Oh right, I need to go back into build menu join now. Build mode. So this place does make a pretty big base once you scrap it all and clean it up. You can actually extend it even more like you just see me do there by knocking into the wall. Then building outwards, you just got to be very careful. I'll show you what happens if you just fall through the void in a minute as well. You don't actually die or anything, or your game doesn't crash, or it didn't when I did it. But it's basically just keep, basically just keep falling out with spawn to you eventually. And you can get there all these, you see what I mean? It looks like a million small bits. No wonder there's so much FPS and lag problem. Now we're going to be faster because it puts so much time in that bit. If I come out here quickly, I'll just scrap all this. Oh, yeah, I have to actually use multiple commands to scrap that post, otherwise, it's annoying. But if you want it to, you can just scrap all them barrels. That's going to connect to the full big frame there. So, yeah. So some of these pipes can't be scrapped, you have to use constant commands again. But you can indeed just scrap all the you want to. So, there's that. If you scrap these emergency lights, you see, you have to use constant commands to get rid of the lighting effect. But that's quite easy. So, that was it. Yeah, so, yep, so there's that. One if I scrap in this hole, you will be locked in here. But you can scrap all these stairwells leading up to here. So I'll give you basically the bare bones of what this base looks like if you completely scrap it. So if I remove this, you see that just looks like a plain wall. But I think these industrial beams can be a nicer look. There are all these. Also. Oh, come on, PC. There we go. And disable. Most of these bits are just massive chunks of metal, so I wish you could scrap them because you would get. Quite a lot of metal out of them. Oh. The small thing I hate using is called commands to scrap all this because it does take a little bit of time to scrap every little bin here, yeah, but it's well worth it in the end. As you can see there, and I scrapped everything in this one room. So there you go. Oops, machinery little parts started around. So that's this one, still pumping more machine parts. Yeah. It's always gonna be a machine parts. Let me just get rid of that dry access. I'm highly annoying now. I think I will just lock myself back in. There you go. So that's what in here looks like completely bare bones. I could do the same here, so I'll just do my workshop in there, so it's out of the way. 
Poster. Poster may take a couple of times to delete because it's got quite a few overlays on it. There we go, two times. Then there's the giant drum here. So, let's see if I can get this light to be gone. I'll probably end up scrapping the wall, no matter. Yeah, but I scrapped the wall. Yeah, you have to be careful when doing that, but. Can easily cover that up. So if you want to, you can see you can just scrap any bit of the wall. You know, it's quite easily to. Two. So I'd advise being careful when using the disable one. It's very hard to undo it unless you reload your last save. But now if I just uh, scrap some of these stairwells. There you go, that's what your room will look like. Complete bear without that wall missing. Then you can actually start removing this machine if you want to. See, all you need is the keys there, so you can put your own keyboard and monitor there. But if you really want to, so you can just disable it, but that kind of acts up the. Yeah, I don't want to disable you, so can you move, please? Thank you. So you can just disable all that if you want to. You can even get rid of the door if you want to. So that's basically how you build a secret bunker in this entire location. So I could scrap that if I wanted to. Then that would be left with them numbers on the wall. So it looks quite nice when it's all scrapped technically, but I just like the rustic beam feel in the rest. So you get one nice big space technically to play around with. Just this one little space and a little glitch in the wall because once you move the pillar that does happen. But it's a pretty nice space so if any of you ever want to try this, just come to this location and try and put it's trial and error. So if I just jump through the void now, see I just spawn back there. See? So win win. So you don't actually die, I would just advise saving it a lot. And if I just want to know any other consequences, there's TFC, what makes you basically. Well, you can still move around in the rest. But if you want to lock your character in place, I would advise using TFC1. Actually, if I pull out my gun here, then if I. Um, it's my space where it works. So how I do my screenshots of any gun that's actually rapidly firing sometimes. I will do it's kinda of hard to There we go. If I go TFC1 in third person view, it through everything in place, then I can take a screenshot like that. So it's quite good screenshots you can see me just firing and shooting. Nice light contrast, but I made them down some of the colours. So that's basically, guys, how you do this secret bunker. Now it's Sorry about that, guys. I stay hit the end button on my keyboard. That's why I tend to not use a keyboard and not just my okay, controller because I use my Xbox controller. I can just hit the middle button on my Xbox controller and it would stop or start the recording for me. So. Getting back to that, yeah, so this is basically how I built my bunk car. If you want to have a go, give it a shot, but it isn't for everybody because, like I said, the intense light can cause epileptic fits or seizures, and it does hurt your eyes now and then. It isn't hurting my eyes right now because I'm wearing my, gla my gaming glasses, was quite sensible when working on projects like this or staring at a screen for hours. Uh, I need some stairs out here, don't I? Stained. Nope, stairs. There we go. Yeah, so. Ah. Okay, I deleted. The... Okay, when you delete that, you actually delete the floor as well, so be advised about that as well. I forgot that happened. Yeah, so if you have any questions or comments about this build, put them in the comments below. If you like, give it a thumbs up. If 
he didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And, out. and I will see you in the next video. Until then guys, this is Victor Bowser, signing off, until next time.